What candy bar began using the slogan, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't, in 1970? Uh, pass. What was the name of the movie for which Brad Pitt won his first Oscar as an actor in 2020? Oh, um... Crap, pass. What was the name of the popular artist who appeared as Little Elvis as a six-year-old in the 1992 movie Honeymoon in Vegas? Uh, pass. Who was the youngest Secretary of Defense in American history, then returned four decades later to be the oldest? Uh, Joe Biden. <laughs> Who became the first woman in the history of IndyCar to win a race in 2008? Dana Patrick. What candy bar began using the slogan, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't, in 1970? Uh, pass. Who, what was the name of the movie for which Brad Pitt won his first Oscar as an actor in 2020? I mean, I can see him with the long hair. It's a Western. I can't think of it. Pass. What was the name of the popular artist who appeared as Little Elvis as a six-year-old in the 1992 movie Honeymoon in Vegas? Uh, pass again. I've got sucked. Time. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> You were hoping Terrible. one of those three would come to you, I suspect. Yeah, I, I'd had all of them in my head. I just couldn't get them out. That is no fun. All right, hold on. Waving hot wings in right now. Hot wings strolling back in. Hello. Hello. Hot wings, are you ready? Yes. Your turn begins in three. Two, one. What candy bar began using the slogan, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't, in 1970? Candy bar? Um, Almond Joy. What was the name of the movie for which Brad Pitt won his first Oscar as an actor in 2020? Oh, say that again? What was the name of the movie for which Brad Pitt won his first Oscar as an actor in 2020? Oh, Pass. What is the name of the popular artist who appeared as Little Elvis as a six-year-old in the 1992 movie Honeymoon in Vegas? Bruno Mars. Who was the youngest Secretary of Defense in American history, then returned four decades later to be the oldest? Uh, Don Rumsfeld? Who became the first woman in the history of IndyCar to win a race in 2008? Danica Patrick. What is the name of the movie for which Brad Pitt won his first Oscar as an actor in 2020? World War Z. Time. I don't know. One of those prestige zombie movies. I can't think of one Brad Pitt movie right now. <laughs> well, I like, you did. As soon as, well, I mean, I, like, like a legit one. Other than <laughs> Fight Club is what popped into my head first, and then that's why I had to repeat it was for the year. And I went, oh, man, I don't Crap. I feel for you. Man. I haven't, yeah, I haven't been, been, been to the movies that much in the last couple of years, so. You've seen it. I believe I it. I remember you complaining about it. I believe it. Oh, I did? <laughs> yes. You hated it. Yeah, you hated it. What candy bar began using the slogan, sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't, in 1970? Having said Almond Joy, Scott said pass and pass. The answer is Almond Joy. I would have accepted it if somebody said Almond Joy and Mounds. Well, that's the thing. I've, never, heard, I've never seen what a commercial just for just one. Yeah. I wasn't sure what I would do with it. It's kind of a... Yeah, I've, only, yeah. I've only seen them together. Almond I know. Almond Joy's got nuts. Mounds, Mounds, Mounds don't. don't. Right. Like, that's the whole jingle. Mounds so is I was just like, as much a part of that. That's why I probably I would have accepted either one, one. But What was the name of the movie for which Brad Pitt won his first doc Oscar as an actor in 2020? How many said World War Z? Scott said, I can't think of one, but I think he had long hair and it was in the West. Hmm. Pretty close. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah, I didn't love it. What is the name of the popular <laughs> artist who appeared as Little Elvis as a six-year-old in the 1992 movie Honeymoon in Vegas? Outwing said, Bruno Mars. Scott said, pass, pass. It's Bruno Mars, two to nothing Hot Wings, who is the youngest Secretary of Defense in American history, then returned four decades later to be the oldest. Hot Wings said Don Rumsfeld. Scott punted and said Joe Biden. He is old and was young at one point. True. Long, long ago.
The answer was Don Rumsfeld. He was the Secretary of Defense for Nixon, Nixon. I believe. Yeah. I learned that by watching the film Vice about Dick Cheney. Yeah. Uh, three to one hot wigs. Who became the first woman in the history of IndyCar to win a race in 2008? You both said Danica Patrick. You are both correct, and Hot Wings wins four to one. That's better for me. Yeah, not great for you, Scott. I feel good. Scott, thank you for listening. Thank you for playing. Derp, derp, derp.